Hey guys, welcome back to the React Native course. In this video, we are going to talk about model in React Native or dialog box. So we are going to learn how to build dialog box or model in React Native. So build that first, what we are going to do, we are going to import the button and model from the React Native. You know, React Native already provided some model model component, so you can use it. And you know, when, when whenever we import a model, the model get the whole screen. So we will do some styling. We will some apply some styling to feel like a model. Okay. And we're going to create one button. And whenever we click on button, we will show the model and hide the model. So let's do it. So you can see this, uh, which I'm going to create in my app. So you can see that this is a text. And when I click on open model, it will open the model. Perfect. So let's see how we can code it. So I'm going to remove all the code and creating a new function R N F E S and it will create a new component for me. Awesome. Now after that, uh, you can see that uh, app is there. Now let me style the container quickly. So we have a style and a styles dot container. Okay. Now after that, whenever I define a container, let me define a styling as well. So container will be flex one and it is justify content center align item center. So it will, you know, get into the center of the page. You can see that the content uh, into get into the center of the page. Now after that, let's create a button, which what is the use case of button is so simple. Whenever you click on button, it will open a dialog. So I'm going to import the button from the react native. Now after that, let's create a handle on page event. And whenever you click on that, we're going to perform some action. So first, let me create a function called another state called open model okay now i click on open model and another state set open model and i'm going to import the user state from the react and by default i'm going to be defining a value as a false and whenever user click on the button it will you know get opposite of that value so if it's true then it will become false and if it's false it will become true and let's add a button called title toggle model okay so let's see how it's looking now you can see that we have created one button called toggle model and whenever we click that you can see that set up in model will be changed okay awesome now after that we have to import the model component as we have to build a model so i'm going to import the model from the react native okay now you can see that uh nothing you know whole screen is taken by the model right now so what we have to do here, we have to define some property called transparent as a true. So it will uh, become a transparent and you can see that the now it's we can able to see that. Okay. Now after that, let's add a view style this in uh, view and I'm going to uh, define a style called style dot center view styles dot centered view okay to make the item in the center and another view will be styles dot model content styles is equal to styles dot model content okay now you can see that uh, nothing we can't see anything on the ui so let me add a one text called welcome you have you have created created a model okay <coughs> now if you see here uh, visible there is a property called visible and if you define a visible property here like open visible property will take open model basically is to create a true or false boolean value so currently if i click on toggle model nothing is happening because the currently it's true let me add another button will explain you what is going on right now <coughs> and after that let me add a function called on press and let's add a title quickly oh my gosh toggle close model basically not toggle so you can see that we are getting nothing on the ui when i click on the ui you can see that we are getting a one model like you have created a model on the top of it okay if i remove the transparent property so you can see that this is a model like you know this is a model which is coming on the top 
okay now we will do this styling to feel like a model now whenever we click on close model it should get close right so what we have to do we have to make set open model as a false i don't know why i do a lot of typos uh okay now if i click on close model so you can see that the you know this ui is getting removed from the ui okay now let's do how we can you know style this okay let me add a transparent property as well transparent as a true now let's style the center view quickly so i'm just copy the center view code class name and let's define a style is so i'm going to give as a flex as a one so it will take the whole width justify content center okay align item center so it will get into the center okay now you can see that you know our model code is you know uh, coming on the top of the button so what we have to do let me show you so i just copy the model content okay and let me add a background color as well uh f2 some lighter color f2 f2 now after that let me copy this model content and what i have to do i have to define background color as a white okay and some padding of 40 for now i think 40 will become too large okay not bad and let me give elevation of 10 if i give elevation of 10 so basically it will add a shadow so you can see that we are able to see a you know shadow and that's feel like a model okay now after that what we have to do we have to give some border radius of 20, 10 or 20 let's give so you can see that how it's looking look good looking good now so yeah i think and we can do more styling of the text style is equal to style dot text style dot model text okay now let me add a one property model text and font size will be 10 oh it's too small 20 will be looks good okay now let me add some font color so that's up to you whatever property you want to apply for the your text but let's apply a color as a black and apart from that let's apply some padding of five <coughs> and you can see it okay now we click on close it will get close so there's a one property you know uh, like we have model and this is how we can handle a model like you know it's basically what is happening let me try to you know understand the code quickly so first what we have done okay first we have created a container inside the container uh, we have defined a one button and whenever we click on button it will toggling the open model state and when the model visible so it will uh, it will open it will show on the ui whenever the model is visible true it will show on the ui and if and we are defining a transparent is true so if it's transparent so the background will be able to see it and after that we have defined a center view that will you know uh, uh, making the content in the center of the view and after that we have model content model content has one thing like we're defining background color giving some padding and giving some elevation to feel like a model apart from that there's some simple property like text which you can see it so i think yeah that's all in the model code uh, you can take a screenshot if you want to understand like you know it's too simple okay let me scroll down so this is the model component code and this is the style code okay so yeah that's all in this video uh, in this in the next video we are going to talk about a pressable component in react native and please let me know guys if you have any question regarding the react native or anything just let me know back in front end because i'm a full stack see you guys in the next video have a great day bye bye